Let's take a look at um, a report credited to you uh, saying that uh, there are oh, uh, there are people exempted, shops, shops in streets are exempted, those that sell essential materials uh, from the lockdown. Well, I have not made any statement of such, but I think that is something that we all can deduce from, from the presidential speech. Uh, of course, the, the, the log, there are people who are exempted from the lockdown. The lockdown itself is a general rule, and to every general rule, there must be exceptions. We, we all know that uh, security personnel, persons on, on essential services, the press, the medics, the fire service, um, the persons conveying food items from one location to another, persons conveying petrol petroleum products from one location to another, uh, shops that are selling um, food items and pharmaceutical products. But even at, in those shops, we expect people to also observe the social distancing rules and, so, and also observe the basic hygiene rules. So if, if you are a pharmaceutical company or you are a food, a, a company that sells food products, I expect that you, you, you make internal regulations that provide for certain distances between one customer and the other. We also expect you to provide washing point at the entrance of a shop, or if you don't, if you can't provide washing points, you also provide hand sanitizers. We must all um, collaborate. As a matter of fact, this is the right time for us to show that we are true Africans. We must show at this point that we, we, are, we are brothers, we are sisters, and work together, communally police one another, communally support one another, and communally provide for each other.